So today I'm going to show you how to make mul kimchi, which literally translates into water kimchi. This is not the typical red, fiery, blistering your tongue kimchi. It's a much more refreshing, cooling summer kimchi recipe. So first things first, we have chopped up our radishes lengthwise, at least the larger ones. I've also given this a good rinse, not once, but twice. And I have trimmed some of the dead leaves, but as you can see, I've kept most of the leaves intact. And now we've got to actually create the brine for this. And for that, I'm adding quite a bit of salt. Don't worry, we'll be washing it off later. This is about half a cup of coarse sea salt. All right guys, so it's been about an hour. And as you can see, a lot of liquid has come out of these radishes and they're quite bendy. This is when you know they're ready. We're gonna rinse them off really well to get rid of the excess salt. Okay, so they are beautiful rinsed off. I'm now gonna start adding some things. I've got some sliced purple onions, some very thinly sliced garlic, about two cloves of that. Next, I've got some Honeycrisp apples. I know, random, but I like apples in my kimchi. And finally, some Fresno chili. So just because it's, this is a mul kimchi doesn't mean it's heatless. There's some heat. And now we're just gonna put them in my kimchi byung or my kimchi jar. Put this salad, for lack of a better word, into our kimchi jar. So I've left a little bit of room at the top and that's because we're gonna add our broth. This is a little bit of water, two cups of water, one tablespoon of sweet white rice flour and three tablespoons of sugar that's been dissolved. And then we're just gonna top it off with a little bit more cold water until everything is submerged. There you go. Last but not least, I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. I know that seems counterintuitive since we spent all that time washing off the salt, but this is the best way to control how salty it can be. So just a couple pinches of salt. So we're just gonna leave this out for a couple days. You can also stick it in your fridge for a couple days. And before you know it, you are going to have the most refreshing, delicious summer kimchi in your fridge that you'll have ever tasted. It'll be perfect for those hot days. Oh, yeah. yeah.